Hi, my name's Ahava. I'm the owner and founder of Ahava Felicidad Hair and Body in Montclair, New Jersey. We are a holistic care practice and workshop for naturals and I would also say transitioners. We take care of adults and we also do workshops for caregivers for their children as well as classes ages 8 to 12 and 13 to 17. That's a, 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 just a brief on what we actually do. In addition to consulting on natural products, regimens, um, care of your scalp and hair. I also created Felicidad Hair Sugar, which you're going to see used today in our, um, in our client session with Candice, who is a client and a team member. Um, this is our coconut lemon cake hair sugar. Candice and I are both wig wearing, so I'm touching her head and she's going to get ready to take this off. This is so that you know we do have a theme and a service base called taking care of the hair under there. For those who are wearing wigs, one or two because of loss of edges from too tight weaves or possibly um, braids or braid extensions that were too tight, growing in hair from hair loss, uh, some people may have loss or patches and they're not comfortable wearing their hair out so they wig wear. We help you to take care of the hair under the wig to grow back in the edges and the spots. You could also be wearing a wig because you have no idea to do what to do with your maintenance. Your two strand, your three strand, your two strand flat, your three strand flat, your cornrows in terms of styling, your updos. So you could be wearing a wig for that. You can come here to learn how to take care, better care of your hair and have your hair better taken care of and come out from the wig when you've reached your goal and you feel more confident and empowered about what you're able to do at home and coming in for service. Our third category of wig wearers would be those who are in TV and film industries where there's not a stylist who knows how to take care of their hair so well. And the choice would be to wear a wig. The choice to wear a wig could be also it's easy to interchange for modeling, runway photo shoots. We have newscasters, broadcasters, and those who may be actors where they have to take on a certain role or look for a character and it will save their natural hair by wearing a wig or various wigs. So Candace, you can take your wig off. And what Candace is going to do today which is a co-wash and a sugar scrub. Co-washing means conditioner washing. We wash with conditioner. This is a natural conditioner. There are a few that I recommend. Uh, my own, which is being worked on, the 365, which is a Whole Foods brand, generally fragrance-free. After fragrance-free, I go for the citrus. Also, um, there's an Althea natural, natural conditioner and the Trader Joe's being the least natural of the naturals because of the dimethicone in that blend. So that's the only reason that would be the third one is some naturals do not want to have cones in their hair at all. It does create more slippage. It's just one of those things so you get to make your choice. So those are some of the conditions we recommend. So Candace has been on a growth journey growing in edges from um, from breakage from braids where when she started with us last year everything here was to her scalp. She now has grown two to six inches over the year from July of 26, 20, excuse me, this is year two. Yeah. July of 2015 to yeah. July of 2017. So this is, this is our year two marker. So we have two to six inches of growth in an area where there wasn't any growth. And we have pictures of the befores, the during and also our now. And Candace does massage regularly. She comes in often. She does her um, her sugar scrub and conditioning and gets cornrows put in for the wig wearing. And there are other factors to um, whether or not hair is growing at a certain rate or pace. It's something we would talk about in another video. But right now, Candace has been doing uh, a great job over the past years in taking care of her hair to manifest growth, including in the back of the nape of the neck. I'm going to have you lean on in. Now, naturals can feel more comfortable coming in to see us because we are holistic care. Now, I'm an aromatherapist, so I do also work with essential oils, and there are essentials in the sugar scrub blends as well as natural oils, which would be carrier oils like coconut oil, sunflower oil, that's what the coconut lemon cake base of oils is, coconut and sunflower. We have other blends that are mixed with grapeseed and olive, 
pure sunflower and also pure safflower. What we do is we do two to three heaping spoons. So I pretty much know what it looks like. So this would be two or three heaping spoons, whether it's teaspoons or tablespoons. For you, this would be like two heaping tablespoons. You put your conditioner next to it. The conditioner has structured water in it already. And we'll have some pictures of the part of the video. So the conditioner already has what's called uh, Dr. Brown structured water added to the bottle. It's something that I just automatically do. Uh, the bottle's up on our shelf there. And it makes the conditioner hydrating. So it absorbs deeper into the hair strands where 25% of our hair strands is our hair strand. Each hair strand is water. So if you had a four flat box and you needed to mail it, you wouldn't be able to mail it with three flaps. So you could imagine what it's like with your hair, kinky, kinky, curly, wavy, straight, missing the 25%, it's not, it's not full, it's not in its full, at its full capacity. So the structured water allows the conditioner to absorb deeper into that 25% to make the hair strands full, which will then create more elasticity and bounce, curl texture, strengthening in the hair now, so the actual strand. The sugar scrub is used to exfoliate dead skin cells that can, will, and do block hair growth. They're skin cells that you will not just, you won't see. It's something that you'll feel. You'll feel that it feels a little bit of tight, like tight in some areas of your scalp possibly. Some will feel flaking. That could be the product buildup plus the skin cells and the flaking if you see it or you feel it. The way we address it is with the sugar scrub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the water and I'm going to wet Candace's entire head with uh, what would be cool water or lukewarm. It will not be hot. Hot water is like getting a wet press. So I'll wet her entire, all of her hair and her entire scalp. I will go into the scalp, not just run water on her hair because the scalp must be clean. The blends are gluten-free, so we do want to make sure that we say that they are gluten-free blends. The Coconut Lemon Cake, the Bonaire Felicidad, the Osaze, the Decadence Indulgence, and the Amazing Autumn. So I'm going to turn the water on. And it is important to make sure that you wet your hair thoroughly, whether this is in the studio, if you're home at the kitchen sink, because that's what you're used to, what's been easy, but you can come in here because it's a more comfortable experience to lay back at the sink to have your hair washed, or if you're washing your hair in the shower which I've done all, I've done them all for myself and for others. I know the experience of all of those ways of washing hair. We do also have several clients who may wet or spray bottle their hair, scalp and hair, and sit up to work through the conditioner fully and sugar scrub while sitting up, maybe watching a funny show, usually be something where you're watching because your hands are free to work through your hair. And then they go to the shower and rinse out so they're not spending 20, 25 minutes in the actual water standing or soaking at the sink. Now one of the other things that we do here that's important is the consulting. So everyone consults first. So if you're a natural who's at home, and natural meaning chemical free. This is universal, so it is kinky, kinky, curly, wavy, and straight. When you're talking about using the term natural, it often is referring to the natural hair community and women of color who made the, the decision to no longer relax. When you, we use the word natural here at Ahava Felicidad Hair and Body, we are mainly referring to the natural journey, a journey of being a natural woman, and then we do have our specialty of textured hair. Right. Kinky, kinky, curly, wavy, and then straight. Straight's not meaning always silky straight. So when I say straight, it doesn't mean always 
straight strands. It could be textured hair that has no coil pattern. So there's textured straight hair that does not have even a Z. So I've seen all types of hair textures, sometimes what split in the middle, just Afro hair where the strands are straight. They're not smooth, but they don't have texture. And then another side of the head, and this is all based on your DNA, can be, could be curly or wavy. So we help naturals of multi-texture with also styling. And this is also for women of different ethnicity as well. Yes, correct? yes. So the sugar scrubs, the process, the consulting that I do is for everyone and children. So we do cover, you know, how to take care of your, um, your scalp and your children's hair. The greatest challenges have been with women with textured hair and our kinky and kinky curlies in taking care of management and styling, what it means to do or be able to do a wash and go. You know, what does that mean if someone's able to just wash their hair and go? So here we do help with, we do the styling and help you to learn how to two strand twist, to three strand twist, to rope twist and how to flat twist. So those are things that clients can come in and learn how to do for more, more independence and more empowerment, inspiration in taking care of natural. So you don't go home and you're trying to figure out what to do to maintain a style or look. We help with regimens. So those naturals who prefer not to quote unquote go into a salon for care because they're not being given tips. We provide tips here, it's, uh, it's um, like a requirement that we provide tips on the journey and you get the different products that you can use that are already natural. If you are gluten free, you have allergies and sensitivities, you may have an allergy to feed oxyethanol. Um, you don't want sodium hydroxide, which no one does. Sodium hydroxide is what is in relaxer. It's what disappears in soap, but it is that caustic ingredient that's in relaxer. We use sodium hydroxide free products. And I have to say that because all products that are on the hair care market are not sodium hydroxide free. Several mainstream companies that have been around for, I will just go ahead and say since like the 1970s, will, would I say slip in, but it's not, not on the label. Sodium hydroxide, to soften or defrizz curly hair, and then it will, over time, have the reverse result of not growing hair. When you're looking for growth, because sodium hydroxide is eating away at your hair strands. So we make sure that you know how to read those labels to make sure you're not using those products or those lines, because there are so many great natural lines out there. And are you applying the conditioner solely first? Yes, so now I'm applying the conditioner all at once before I do the scrub. On some textures of hair and on some occasions, I will do the conditioner and the sugar at the same time. For today's purposes and for showing you the best way to do this would be to work the conditioner all the way through the scalp and the hair. Then we apply the sugar and do the massaging until the granules have dissolved. While the granules are dissolving, their purpose is to lift up the dead skin cells. And it's also helping your scalp to feel more free and open. It, it makes you more alert. The essential oils are going into the skin in three minutes and into the cells of the body in 30. So you have the benefits of the aromatherapy from the three blends that have essential oils, which are coconut lemon cake, eau sauce, and Bonaire Felicidad. Those are the three with the essential oils. So coconut lemon cake's main essentials are lemon and lemongrass. Refreshing, cleansing, um, does uh, lift up oil and helps with uh, clarifying. Sugar is antibacterial naturally. So we don't make the sugar antibacterial, it's already antibacterial naturally. So at this point, I've worked the conditioner all the way through. I'm still doing a little bit of work here. We want the strands to be saturated. This is so also that you don't have to use as much product. There's no need to use four ounces of an eight ounce styling product when your hair is already canvas for styling. 
Now you can use a tablespoon of a leave-in and work that through. If you need a little bit more, you get a little bit more. That's still based on your hair texture, density, length, and type. But here we're helping you to keep your scalp clean, glowing, flowing, and have hair that is a ready canvas for your product. Now we have sugar. So you have some of the sugar. I have it on my fingertips and in my hand. There are times I may um, get my palms in uh, doing edges, but for the most part I do finger massage. And I go right into the areas first where I know she needs the most massage. You massage the entire scalp. However, we do focus on our edges. So I'm scooping a little bit more of the sugar and I'm going to open and go right into the part here and you massage until the granules dissolve and this is done all over the scalp. When you do this for yourself it will allow you to feel as long as you know you have dead skin cells which a new layer forms a new layer of skin cells forms on our bodies every day. That includes your scalp. That's why this is so essential. You'll feel areas of your scalp where you may have had some itching. So you want to go right to those spots first because that's an indicator of some buildup. It could also be an indicator of dryness, uh, dehydration from the inside out. And you go to those areas first and you will definitely feel the difference and feel better when you sit up. So I'm just working through. And we just go across, generally from the right to the left. On occasion, I go left to right. And I'm just massaging. And I also do a work through with the free hand. And there are times I will do both hands. So if you're working through your scalp and hair and you like to use two hands, you can put sugar in two different areas and you can do your massage this way, but you're making sure you go into your scalp. So you can see my fingers, but my fingertips, the flesh, never my nails or never your nails, are all the way in to the scalp. So I'm gonna show you an area right here. It's very important. It's like when I tell people, get your foot off my flower bed. Imagine the dead skin cells are like a bunch of tiny feet and your flowers can't grow out as well as they should, you want to keep the feet off the flower bed. So you want to lift the dead skin cells out of the way and nourish your scalp. And this also is stimulating blood flow. Yes, without the sugar alone, with just your fingers, you can massage daily to stimulate blood flow, create relaxation, However, using this with the activated sugar blends, which means uh, it's a softer, more emollient than what would be your kitchen table sugar. So it's another important thing to know about Felicidad hair sugar. It's not your kitchen table sugar. It's an activation process of um, sometimes up to seven days of charging the sugar to make it a thousand times or more, more absorbent. So if you took a, a regular bowl of sugar and just mix sugar and oil, you're not going to have Felicidad hair sugar. It will not work the same way. You want to be careful because any other sugars could be more, could be abrasive for the scalp. And how often should someone do the sugar scrub? So sugar scrubbing can be done every day, every other day, every week. So that's more so lifestyle. I've had a client who decided at home they wanted to co-wash every day, every day, two weeks straight, just to see how much more growth they would get. And the growth rate increased by a minimum eighth of an inch in terms of seeing that it wasn't really growing before, but they weren't doing anything. Now they're washing their hair more often. When you stretch out the time period, nothing's much happening up here unless you're actually stimulating the massage and the growth. Everyone's body is different. Some people has, have hair that quote unquote grows like weeds. Others don't. And the others who don't really need to be on top of their scalp care, their body care, their hair styling and grooming. If you just let your hair go and you don't do styling, which will include massage, 
your hair may not grow as fast. And the average human body is supposed to get six inches in a year. That's the average, just, you know, uh, physiological. And that's from the 1,000 Things About the Human Body book. It's a book that I've actually seen in a lot of kindergarten classrooms. And that's where we look at that when we talk about how much your hair is supposed to grow. Now, when you massage the sugar in with the conditioner, you're not focusing on the end with the sugar scrub. It's purely the scalp, We're correct? focusing on the scalp okay. because it's about the clarifying, the exfoliating. Uh, sugar is a draw where salt is a pull. Salt pulls out and detoxes. Sugar draws in as a humectant and then it also exfoliates. So it is also more moisturizing uh, for the scalp and strengthening because sugar volumizes. So it is topically volumizing the hair strands as well. But that's why we also have the necessity of using a conditioner. I've had a few clients who maybe had like an oily hair texture and decided they just wanted to co to do the co-wash without conditioner and they just did sugar scrub and that worked great for them because that was the result they were looking for with their scalp and then it does volumize the conditioner and you're working it through. If someone's hair is really, really dry, I will sugar scrub on the strands as well as the scalp. But most of my clients and customers, especially those coming in for um, regular care, we don't, I don't have to load the sugar up on the actual hair strands because I've worked the conditioner in with the structured water for the softening and the hydration and we focus on the scalp. And when all the granules have dissolved, or at least for this time period of what would be sometimes nine to 12 minutes of the actual Felicidad hair sugar experience, we would either rinse or go into a deep treatment. So what Candace is getting is what's called a classic deep. So her hair will be wrapped in mini buns with double prong clips and left to sit and absorb in and strengthen for up to 30 minutes. Natural body heat will rise to warm her hair so she will not be going underneath the, the dryer. And if someone wanted to speed the process up, could they go underneath the dryer? No, it's yeah. not a, it's not a okay. thing of speeding up the process. Okay, so It is letting your body's heat naturally warm. And they can speed it up by running or riding a bike, but we don't have that uh, at, <laughs> yet here at the part of the practice. Um, that's how to, to warm your body up if you, if you are not getting enough exercise. Another thing the deep does show me is someone's level of heat in their body. So the average is 30 minutes, but it's not, everyone hasn't always warmed up in 30 minutes. So then I might notice that that client maybe who may have been on a workout plan, maybe they didn't work out as much that week or over two weeks if their hair does not warm up in the 30 minutes. That's an indicator for me that there's maybe some concerns with circulation. And then I'll just make a recommendation or comment about that. Hey, these are some things you can do. Talk to a care provider, work with a trainer, increase the amount of walking, running, biking, cycling, swimming, aerobic exercise that you're doing for circulation in the body, which also would be um, supplements. And alternative wellness therapies beyond massage, like cupping. Candace generally gets warm within 30 minutes. She's like hot. Okay. So going under the dryer, we don't do that because that's dryer heat. It's dry heat. Your body is going to be naturally warming from your, from your feet to your head. So that flow is what makes your scalp and hair warm up. And I'm almost done with what was in the bowl. I used all of it. And I've covered just about her entire scalp. In studio, I use a lot more than the average natural may use at home. And you know, that's one of the differences coming in for actual studio service. People say, you oh, know, I can't do what you did here. And I'm like, well, I'm, you know, I'm here. It's one is my hands, a little bit different. <laughs> and I do use a little bit more. And then those who decide they want to use a little bit more, they'll get a closer result to the feel that feels like when they've left the studio store. 
and the deeps are amazing because they do give your hair uh, it's sitting in for the half an hour getting the deep makes it so I've gotten feedback where clients have been able to twist easily pin curl manage styles last longer after a deep than they do after just what's called a, a traditional classic cleanse flow and glow yes it's great but the deep is what gets them a good two weeks of softness softening and more definition and noticing that the more you take care of the hair, you do the deep, you're doing your co-wash and your scrub, the better results you get with how your styles last, how your hair is growing, and of course taking into account your healthy eating practices. So if you have anything that affects your, your body health, like the autoimmune uh, diseases, you know, reasons why you may be gluten-free, sensitive, paleo. You want to make sure that your body's diet is great because your hair is growing from the inside out. So your water intake being half your body weight in ounces or more, adding structured water for absorption of that hydration, that's amazing. And if you have to do iron supplements like Floridix Iron and Herbs or Gaia Herbs, you want to consult with a certified health counselor on making sure that you have the right balance of foods in your body for hair growth. And now, even though you're working the scalp, you see you're, you're nourishing the ends as well. It's and like going into one. the hair, yes, definitely. It's just, it's, it's all included. So like when you say all inclusive, it's all inclusive. So we do work, the conditioner goes through. Now this conditioner does have the effects of the coconut lemon cake sugar infused into it. And I'm gonna have Candace sit up. I'm gonna lift the sink a little bit. And from here, I do some massage at the nape of the neck. This is an area where a lot of naturals have tension shoulder, neck area, some the hair grows a little bit uh, more slowly back here as well. Also massaging and paying attention to the area at the nape of the neck. And you're still using your fingers only to massage? The yes, the scalp. fingers only, not nails, just finger flesh. You'll notice I keep my nails cut, very, very short. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that's always been easy for me. It started with my playing cello when I was a little kid. I couldn't have nails and I did hair about the same amount of time as I've been playing the cello. If you have long nails or you wear nails, you just focus on your finger flesh or you come in for your and now wash to be to done do. for you. So now I'm taking sections of the hair and doing what I've called is a concept that I created called a classic deep. Because over the years um, in working in hair, because I've been in hair since eight, 1986, I would notice people would kind of slap in conditioner and sit you under a dryer. And I'm like, I have these textured hair clients. It's not enough, I need something deeper. And deeper was then the pin curling. I grew up seeing my mom pin curl to maintain styles. And I'm like, wait, that's a technique that'll work with the deep. And instead of using bobby pins, we use the double prong clips and then we're going to move over to the chair so that Candace will be able to sit back so after this one we'll move to the chair and we wrap that and we put on a double prong come on over sweet prongs okay. the double prong clips okay mm -hmm. now these come in like two different styles this is the style I prefer I don't even have a picture of the other one. It's a little bit more rounded. Okay, that one has these like a I find are very you can easy. open and close. Yes, okay. the other one is a little bit more rounded. They look almost, they look, you know, they look alike, but I like the feel of this double prong clip. So the two styles, this is the one that I choose to use to do the classic deep. And you can see that her scalp and hair are fully mm -hmm. saturated. We work this through. We put on a wrap or cap, uh, what would be a plastic, plastic wrap. And then she will be in what's called the classic deep for up to 30 minutes. On average, in 20 minutes, the perimeter will warm. So the entire perimeter warms. 
And then the next 10 minutes is usually the finalizing of the top or crown area warming. And this is this has been since 20, I would say 2011, I think I did the first Classic D. So almost six years of this and the concept's been the same. The difference is only being We've completed the entire work through for the classic deep. Candace is now set in her mini bun, so it's like a muffin pan. And we're going to just do a light wrap. And what are you using to wrap? Uh, these are just, what, how do I explain this? Can they use They're like a plastic cap? A plastic cap can be used. I don't like tossing away the wraps as a part of our eco-friendly. So we do reuse these poly wraps. And they're cut in different sizes to wrap the head. So I'm going to do one and then I'm going to do another layer. But just so you can see the first layer, how it goes on. And it is containing all of the heat. So when, when you touch or she touches, it's cold or cool to the touch. Now, in 20 minutes, the perimeter will be warm. Another 10 minutes, her top will be completely warm. Feel your head too. You're, you're carrying some. It's the air's on in here. So Yes. Yeah, so it's cold right now and it'll, it'll warm up with her natural body heat rising. If I feel again that someone does not get as warm, I'm going to say, hey, it's not as warm. There might be some things going on with your circulation because the average person is going to warm up toes all the way up to the top in 20 minutes. So on occasion, I might say like maybe 10% of clients maybe have not warmed up fully. And then they'll say, oh, I'm a little anemic. Or they actually know that something was going on in their body where they, where their circulation is not as it really should be. And then that's when I'll make one of those recommendations or recommend them to a naturopath or a certified health counselor. It's just, you know. So now we have rinsed out the Classic Deep. And you can see the nice definition. So Candace has a, we're in a kinky, kinky kinky hair three times kinky hair category with a lowercase s curl so this type of definition to be seen in the hair and she has a sparkling sheen her hair is brown it's also kinky but it's multi textured kinky so there are some areas where you'll see more definition and others where you see that her hair may afro out more wet like right in here and this is all in the DNA. Her scalp is nice and clean, very breathable, and we're going to set in uh, some cornrows. Ahava Felicidad of Ahava Felicidad Hair and Body, creator of Felicidad Hair Sugar. And this is one of five blends, four are made year round, the One Amazing Autumn is only made from September 9 to December 9 as a part of our sustainable and eco-friendly efforts, but we wanted to have a scrub that had a nice orange hue and a scent for the fall. So you won't see that one here, but you will see Bonaire Felicidad, our Island Breezy Blend, yellow naturally from the essential oils. So there are no artificial colors in here that um, can cause a lot of uh, hyperactivity and issues in adults and children. The oils are orange, or well, sweet orange, grapefruit and tangerine. That's what makes it this color. Our coconut lemon cake is the original hair sugar. And as an aromatherapist, I did choose the essential oils very carefully in terms of the benefits of the qualities in the scalp and hair. So coconut lemon cake has lemon and lemongrass some cinnamon and coconut and sunflower oils with the small granule cane sugar. We also have the black soap cleanser. Now this has been used a lot. We use this one here in studio. This is our original coconut lemon cake, the black soap experience. This was also by request. So all the products were requested. They were being used in services and clients were like, can you put that in a jar? Can, you, can we just buy this? How do we use it if we're going to go out and we want to use it on our own? How do we use it at home? So the instructions do tell you on the jar how to use the product. And it is for scalp exfoliation. Draws in moisture to your scalp and hair, helping kinks to coil, curls to pop, 
makes your wavy, swavy, and your straight hair stronger, all from this naturally antibacterial sugar that I also charge. So these are charged or also known as activated hair sugar blends, being 1,000 times or more absorbent into the scalp and hair than your average what would be kitchen table or kitchen cabinet sugar or sugar scrub blend. Very emollient softening for the skin as well and the definition that it provides in hair whether you're a wig wearer or you're wearing your um, chemical free hair out loose or styling this is a great product to prepare your hair for the canvas that it needs to be to receive a styling product. The scent will be imparted and it lasts about seven to eight hours, the coconut lemon cake. Bonaire Felicidas effects are one to two hours. And then we have O Sazé and the Decadence Indulgence, which are tea tree and lavender, respectively tea tree and lavender, and then a chocolate blend that is cocoa scented. And these different blends were made to um, really give options to clients on their natural palette, for their scalp and hair, some love chocolate, some love coconut, and the lemon and lemongrass, others love the complete citrus blend, and the Osaze for men and women who love them was made with men in mind for their balding heads and beards and mustaches. I do make the product myself. So it is a handmade product, hand batched. It will also be batched by other team members, volunteers, anyone working with us to make Felicidad Hair Sugar and um, we charge them here in Montclair, New Jersey. I can be reached at 973-619-2855 or 201-921-9894. And right now the products are available by order in studio, as well as two local beauty supply stores, one barbershop in Montclair. So we have 3D Barbershop in Montclair. We have Sensational Beauty on Main Street in Orange as well as Texture in Springfield Avenue in Maplewood and a number of locations in New York City and Brooklyn waiting for their samples to start creating awareness and a buzz on this wonderful innovative product that I've made that will get you results and you've got to scrub to grow. Thank you. Thank you.